Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we are going to be bleaching my roots. Previously I have tried out Arctic Fox's bleach kit and today I'm going to be trying out Manic Panic's lightening kit. My all-time favorite lightener to use is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. You guys know that. This is what I normally use, but I am like literally almost out. I have like a scoop and a half left, which is not enough to do my hair. I have never used this lightening kit before, and if I have, it was way back in the day in high school I might have used it once, but I don't remember anything about it, so we're gonna try it today, and I'm going to compare it to the Arctic Fox Bleach Kit. There are quite a bit of differences between the Manic Panic and the Arctic Fox Bleach Kit. This one one is powder bleach and the arctic fox one is a cream bleach when i use the arctic fox bleach kit i diluted it down to a 25 so i'm going to do the same thing with this one and make it a 25 volume developer so let's go ahead and open this up and see what comes inside the packaging is really cute i really like the packaging okay it comes with obviously the 30 volume developer it comes with its own brush, which is so helpful for people at home who do not have a brush. And then there's a little tub that you just mix everything in, which is also super, super handy because a lot of people don't have bowls and brushes at home. So I think it's such a great idea that they included a tub to mix everything in and a brush you can use to apply it to your roots. Or if you're doing an ombre or something, a brush is also super handy to have. I wish Arctic Fox would include like a bowl and brush like this, maybe change their packaging to accommodate something like this because it is very, very helpful for people who don't have these things at home. So far, I love the packaging and I love everything that comes included. I think this is such a good idea. Arctic Fox's kit had a 35 volume developer. This kit has a 30 volume developer, but then Manic Panic also has another kit that has 40 volume developer. It's pretty much the same concept. You're either going to use 30 or 40 volume. I wish both companies had more choices of volume developers. Some people don't need 30 or 40 volume like me. I I would prefer to have a 20 volume developer. So I hope in the future, both of these companies release kits with 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume. It's that way it's optional and you can choose what volume you need. This is six fluid ounces and this is four fluid ounces. So Arctic Fox comes with more product. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's all, oh cool, there's even more stuff in here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this nice ass shower cap, okay? Look at the quality of that. And it also comes with nice vinyl gloves. Now looking at this lightener, I honestly don't think this is gonna be enough to do my whole head. So hopefully it is, we'll see. So I am going to be using a lot of the 30 volume and then I'm just going to dilute it a little bit with some 10 volume to make a 25 volume. If you didn't know, that's how you bump down a volume developer. If you mix 30 volume and 10 volume equal parts, you're gonna get a 20 volume developer. Okay, so the consistency of this is kind of like icing. I prefer when my lightener is a little bit more runny versus thick because it's harder for the lightener to dry out if it starts out being runny. Also, lightener tends to swell as you're applying it, so it gets thicker throughout the process. So starting out with this consistency is perfect in my opinion. And I'm gonna start with the back of my head because you're normally darker in the back of your head and it takes a little bit longer to process around your hairline and in your crown area. Hair breaks off way easier there because it is more fine and it's more fragile. If you've never seen a video of me bleaching my hair before, I do like to saturate it in oil. So that way, if any of the bleach accidentally gets on my ends, there's a little bit of a barrier there. So that way it's not gonna damage my ends as much. This is a heat protectant spray, but it's like made out of oils. It has safflower oil, primrose oil, and a whole bunch of other things. You can get this at Sally's, it's a Suavecita. I'm just gonna section my hair into three sections. I also also have to turn my ring light off because it creates a glare in the mirror behind me. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. So the bleach is now super poofy in the container. It's swelled up a lot and now it's like really really thick frosting also i am starting to feel some tingly burningness on the nape of my neck where i first applied the lightener i do remember with arctic fox i didn't have that cream bleach in my opinion is way more gentle on the hair and also their bleach has a lot of added things for protection they put a lot of ingredients in there so that way it helps protect your hair and also it doesn't irritate your scalp as much. So we'll see how this goes because I'm only a few minutes in and I'm already having a little bit of 
sensitivity in the nape of my neck. This is how much I have left to do the front two sections of my hair. Not very much. All right, so it's completely gone. I scraped it clean. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my Blonde Me bleach to finish this section right here. So I'm reading the instructions on this to see like what's the maximum recommended amount of time to leave this on for. And it doesn't say don't leave on longer than 45 minutes, don't leave on longer than 60 minutes. Under the developing part, it says use of enclosed plastic cap is recommended through the developing process. The length of timing depends on the color and condition of the hair. Check the hair at regular intervals during the development process as timing varies according to the degree of desired lightning. Check strand every 10 minutes to evaluate the lift. To do so, remove plastic cap and wipe away mixture with a damp tissue. If hair has not reached desired level, reapply mixture as before and continue processing. Do not over bleach. All those instructions I completely agree with. I wish they would have included all of that and then said, do not leave on longer than 60 minutes. I just wish they would have said, don't leave on longer than 60 minutes total because some people might leave it on for a really long time. And if you're using 30 volume on your scalp and you're leaving it on for a really long time, it's kind of dangerous and you can get blisters and it can go wrong very quickly because this is not a professional product. The people who are buying this are probably not educated in hair and bleach and how all of this stuff works. So that's the only thing I would change about the instructions, but it's super informative. And I like that they say check every 10 minutes because that's exactly what I do. So I'll see you guys once it's done processing. All right, so I'm back. I left it on 30 minutes. I couldn't have left it on anymore because my scalp was burning and I was getting a headache from the lightener. I don't know if it's just that certain lightener or if it was the developer that made my scalp like kind of have a burning feeling to it, but it worked really well as you can see. So my ends are damp, but my roots up here are dry. And obviously underneath here in the back of my head is even more light because I applied it here first. So let me spin around and show you what the back of my head looks like. My final thoughts on Arctic Fox versus the Manic Panic bleach kits. Which one do I think works better? Which one would I use in the future? I like the packaging of the Manic Panic better. I like that they include the shower cap and they have the tub and the brush. It makes it easier for at-home applications, which is what these kits are made for. The product inside, however, 
I would prefer to have Arctic Fox just because the ingredients in Arctic Fox are way better for your hair. I read Manic Panic's packaging. It didn't say anything about added ingredients to protect your hair, to strengthen your hair, and to prevent breakage. So on the front of the Arctic Fox bleach, it says it's infused with castor oil, mango seed butter, cocoa, sunflower oil, acai, and papaya. It also contains polycare split therapy, which repairs damaged cuticles and split ends. Quality-wise, Arctic Fox bleach and developer is better for your hair. Also, price point on these are different. So Manic Panics retails for about $10. Arctic Fox's retails for $20, but you get double the product in the Arctic Fox bleach kit than you do in Manic Panic. They're actually the exact same price. Arctic Fox just has double the amount of product and Manic Panic has half of that amount. So it might seem like you're paying less for the Manic Panic, but in reality, you're paying the same amount for the amount of product you're getting. I do really love the packaging of the Manic Panic lightener though. I love all of the ingredients that's included. I wish Arctic Fox would maybe include some of those things, like some type of bowl to mix product in. Another downside to this is Arctic Fox bleach kit is not available at Sally Beauty. You do have to order it online as of right now. That's the positive about Manic Panic is it is in Sally Beauty. So if you're doing something last minute, you can run there and pick it up. Arctic Fox, you have to have a little bit of planning behind it and know that you're about to bleach your hair. I would definitely choose the Manic Panic bleach kit over anything you're gonna find at Walmart. So if it comes down to choosing something at a drugstore or choosing Manic Panic, I would definitely go get that. It has everything you need in it and it's gonna lift your hair really well. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. I